Welcome back you guys. So today I have another Timu haul. I feel like that is just what I'm going to be hauling from now on. Timu and Dollar Tree. Those are my spots. That is where I find all of my treasures that I love. I hope today you guys see something here that you know you have interest in or that you find appealing to you. So let's go ahead and jump right in. I'm super excited to share all of these goodies with you. Okay, so for the first item that I picked up, it was $4.04. And, and they were these slippers. So I needed new slippers because my puppy ate mine. So I knew I didn't want to get anything too expensive because I would be really mad if he eats another pair of good slippers. So I went ahead and picked these up, not really being sure of the quality of them. I will say that they feel cheap. Um, this is what the bottoms look like here. They kind of make like a, a weird noise to me. I feel like I have seen similar slippers at like the 99 cent store or something like that. Maybe for like $1.99. Well, that was back in the day. So they're probably like $2.99 and $3.99 now if they even carry them anymore. Um, but I will say that the material is super, super soft and the inside is really soft and nice. The sole of the foot, I mean, it's pretty thick. It feels like a good thickness, but they still kind of give me like a cheapy feel. But if you're not worried about that and you just want, you know, something to keep your feet warm and to not walk around the house barefoot or just in your socks, I would say get them. Ooh, they're actually... They're actually really comfortable. I'm not even going to lie. And my foot is instantly warm. I mean, my feet are always freezing. So I needed new slippers. But they're actually really comfortable. And they fit pretty good. Um, I believe these were size 8 to 9. I wear 8 and a half, 9. So I picked these up. You guys, I would say $4.04. Get them. Not sure how long they will last. But even if they just last one winter... $4 is worth it. I mean, in my book, it is. <clears throat> the next thing I picked up, this is for my son. Now, this was only $3.59. I really wasn't sure what I was getting at all. I just saw that the design was pretty cute. It is like a dinosaur design, and I thought it was a sweatshirt but it's more like a raincoat feeling. That's the type of vibe I get from this, like the texture. I'm not sure, or like a windbreaker. That's what it feels like, a windbreaker. The zipper works really nice. It has no lining on the inside. So I would say that this would be good to wear over like a black hoodie, like he has a black hoodie, like a regular sweatshirt. But if he wore that and put this on, I think it would keep out the rain. So I think it's pretty nice. The seams look pretty good. Like it doesn't look super cheap or anything. Even on the outside, the threading looks really, really nice. Like look at the threading. Usually when you buy things cheaper like this, you find that the thread looks all like crazy wonky and crooked and it looks like they stopped sewing and then sewed again. Like, it, you know, you could tell. But this, actually, the quality of it is really nice. So if you're looking for something not really for warm, but you're looking for something that's super cute that can go over like a hoodie, a plain hoodie, I would say get this. $3.59, that's not bad at all. And again, it looks really, really nice. So I actually like that. I'm actually really happy with that. So $3.59, you guys, not bad. The next thing I got, I'm going to kind of switch things up so we're not just looking at like clothes type items. But the next thing I picked up, these were $0.79. Cents. And I picked up four of them. These are for the kitchen. I'm not too fond of the design. Like it's a shell. I don't know. It kind of looks crazy. It is hard plastic, 
but the reason why I got this is because my kids and nieces they're always here because we do school together but they always like eating like taquitos with salsa or chips and salsa um, what else do they eat hummus and pretzels and stuff like that with dips and so instead of me using two different containers like a plate and a little bowl it's all in one so they each have one of these little shells so I got two of that color and then I got two of this color pretty similar One's just a little bit darker and more of a bluish tint to it, but I thought these were really cute. So I have a total of four of them. So not bad, 79 cents each, super good deal. And all the kids could have like a cool little plate. Kids like eating stuff like off of cool plates and stuff. So I'm gonna put that down there and move this out of the way. Okay, another thing I picked up, I thought that this was pretty cool. This was $3.98. I'm totally into junk journaling right now. I'm like falling in love with it. It is so much fun, so relaxing. I've been doing it on an advent for Jesus for next Christmas and oh my gosh, I'm absolutely loving it. So this was $3.98. Now this is a, like a snap button clamp I don't even know what to call it you guys I don't even remember what it was called but it comes with this and two little white rubber pieces I think they go on here I don't even know I just saw this and I'm like oh my gosh I could totally use this for um for junk journaling but we'll see let's see let me let me just see if I can figure this out there we go okay so I'm pretty sure that these go on here because if they don't, I don't know. So they're like little rubber. Yeah, they go on there for sure. And then it came with this little case of little buttons. So like the snap buttons, I'm not sure how it works. I'll have to look it up. That's how I'm figuring out how to do a lot of these, but it comes with the little snaps. So I was thinking that when I'm using fabric or something in my junk journal, I want to see if this even works with like thick cardstock or something like that. But I'm hoping that I can make little like snap, like flaps that I can snap shut and open. So it comes with, I don't even know how I can hold this up for you guys to see. Can you guys see that? So it comes with that end and just this, you can't see it, that. So it just like snaps together. It's a snap. So also I saw this and I wanted, the kids and I are going to be doing like a, um, we haven't done it yet, we need to do it, but we are going to do a time capsule. We should actually do that, maybe we'll do it, I don't know when we're gonna do it, but we need to do it. But I had fabric that I wanted them to make their own bags and I don't really know how to sew, so maybe I'll have them add little snap closures on it so they can close it that way. But you guys be creative. Use this for whatever you want, you know? Okay, so that was $3.98. So when I saw this, I knew I had to get it. All right, so this was $2.69. These are the Glass Screen Pros Premium Tempered, and it is for the Nintendo Switch, and it comes with a two-pack. So I thought that this would be perfect for my son and daughter's Switch. They have protectors on there already. Of course, they've dropped them already and they've cracked already. Not the real screen, but the protectors. It's 269, you guys. I swear I actually purchased this exact pack from Amazon. I swear the box looks super familiar. The name looks familiar. Like I swear I purchased it from Amazon for way more than 269. So I was excited to see that on there. Something else I picked up, I've been picking up jewelry from there because you guys, it is priced so well. I'm talking so, 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 so well. <laughs> so I got these earrings for 79 cents, 79 cents. Uh oh, that's one of the little backings. They are these really cute they feel like they're wood. I think they are actually. 
Hold on, let me get my little paper. Ah. So they're hanging earrings. Let me see if I could hold these up good. Do you see those? How cute are those? You guys will be seeing these on me in some videos. 75 cents, you guys. Yes, 75 cents. That is crazy to me. I, I don't know, I was kind of blown away. So I picked these up because I love earrings and jewelry and you know, everything. I love everything pretty much. <laughs> Um, but see, these are rings that I've purchased from Timu. This one, this one, this one, and that one. All the, well, not this one, that's my wedding ring, but all these other ones I've purchased. I haven't been noticing any ring, like green rings around my fingers. I do get little indents because some of them sit a little tighter, but I don't know. I'll have to let you guys know later on. Okay, something else. All right, so this is something that you don't really know you need it until you need it, okay? That's gonna make sense in a second. Have you guys ever gone to an amusement park with yourself or your kids and you purchase new shoes and you're wearing them and you're like, oh, these are gonna be comfortable and you wear them to the amusement park and you walk around for a couple hours and your heel starts to hurt. They are heel protectors. You guys, heel protectors. I know this happens with my kids, especially my daughter. Oh my gosh, my son, not really. He doesn't ever complain about his feet, but my daughter, she's super picky when it comes to socks, shoes, the way they fit, the way they feel. So when I saw these, I knew I had to pick them up just for an emergency. I'm probably gonna pass them around to my family just to keep you know, in their cars or in their purse or something. But they're like these little bandages let me take one out to share it. Did I tell you guys the price is $2.69? There's quite a bit in here. But look at this. So it ha it's kind of like a Band-Aid. So this tan part is cushiony. And then you have the clear around it. And this just goes on the heel of your foot where your shoe touches. I thought that these were amazing. Have you guys seen these before? Have you seen them? Do they work? I'm super curious. I I was so excited when I saw these. I don't know if it's age or <laughs> experience. I have no idea, but when I saw these, I was actually excited. And I was excited to share it with you guys too. So I hope you guys think those are cool. All right, so this I was really excited to find. I feel like most of these items I was super excited to find. But I found this on Timu for 48 cents. It's itty, 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 bitty. But it's this little crown charm. Look how cute that is. So I'm going to add that into my junk journal when I do my last page when Jesus is born because he's the king, right? So I'm gonna use that as a charm for that specific page. And I can't wait, because I love it. I think it's super cool and it's super fitting. Okay, so the next couple things I'm gonna share with you, I got two of the same thing, but they're different colors. They were $1.69. Like I was telling you guys, my feet are always cold. I always have socks on, because I'm always, always, always freezing. So I got these socks. Ooh, these are nice. So they're, they're stretchy. They feel super soft and smooth. They have like these little ridge ridges to them. I don't know how to explain it. And inside you guys, do you see, do you guys see that fuzz? Doesn't that look super warm? I'm so excited to get these. Oh, those are really nice. Okay. The things I'm excited for these days. So I got this pair and I got this pair. Aren't those super cute? So obviously I don't think you wear these out. I think they're like, you know, for the home, for the house, like house socks, but I'm really excited for these. I wish I got more. If I like them, if they wash well and they last a while, I will definitely be picking up more of them. They had a whole bunch of colors. These I really liked. I think that they were out of the gray ones. I wanted gray ones just because they're more of like a neutral color. 
but they were out. So I picked these ones because they were cute. All right. <laughs> now this is another really cool item. All right. I got quite a bit of them. I picked up six packs of these. They come in these little plastic cases here and they are like disposable soap things. I don't, what are they called? Hmm, I don't know what they're called. Maybe I'll have to look them up. But I thought that these were really cool because how many of you guys have gone on a road trip or literally just been going somewhere and had to use the bathroom and come to find out they don't have any soap in the bathroom. So thank goodness most of us carry sanitizer around, you know, to sanitize our hands. But there's nothing better than washing your hands with soap and water. There really isn't. So when I saw these, I thought that this was perfect. I'm definitely passing these out. My sister will love me for these. Um, but this comes in a little case. I haven't seen what they look like. Okay, so they're like little tiny. They're not tiny. But hold on, I can't get it with these darn nails. <laughs> okay, wait. They're sticking together. Okay. Oh my gosh, they feel crazy. They're like silky smooth, weird. I thought that they were gonna feel more like um, fabric softener, you know, sheets, but they feel like silky. I don't know. Okay, so this is what it is. It reminds me kind of like of a Listerine strip, but it's not, so don't use these as Listerine strips. <laughs> Where's this video going? I don't even know. I'm being goofy right now. I don't even know what's happening. Anyways, okay, so you just put it in your hand, add a little bit of water, and you wash. And it is soap. Soap. And I'm really excited about it, you guys. I mean, seriously, there were days when I was excited about getting the newest CD, you know, as a teenager. And the time has come where I'm most excited to get things like this or like the heel patches. What's happening to me? I don't know, I think it's age. All right, I mean, it's obviously smarter though, right you guys? Smarter to be excited about things like that. Okay, the next thing, I'm gonna share with you two things I got for my puppy now. When you guys are ordering from Timu, make sure you look at sizes, like measurements and stuff like that. I'm super bad about that. I hate doing that. I hate paying attention to the measurements. So with my dog, I had purchased him like a little sweater for him because he's he's a little skinny, tiny dog. He's a whippet. And if you guys know what whippets are, they're super skinny dogs, like literally like skeleton dogs. They're tiny. And so they get really, really, really cold. So I read that he needed sweaters when it, you know, he goes outside because it's too cold for his body. So anyways, I picked one up from Ross. And if you guys are in the market to shop for dog stuff or puppy or cat stuff, go to Ross. I'm telling you, you guys can get things like at a fraction of the price compared to like PetSmart or Petco or any of those pet stores. So anyways, I picked one up from there and it was a size medium and it fits him perfectly. So I thought I was smart. <laughs> I thought buying these little jackets for my dog in a size medium would work. Not quite. I mean, not even when we got him when he was 11 weeks old would this have fit him. But this sweater is $2.58. So if you have a little dog, I would say get it. It's cute. It's like fleece. It has a little spot here to, I don't know, put the leash, I guess. I don't know, I wouldn't put a leash on that, but I guess you can, I don't know, I haven't done anything like that. Like I haven't gotten any clothes with a hook here, but I guess you could put a leash on it. Um, but it just slips over their head and their little legs come out here and here's the little sweater. I got it in the gray, but it's really nice, you guys. The quality looks good. Um, the seams look really nice, but here you go. This is what it looks like. So if you guys have a small dog. Now my mom, she has a medium sized dog as well, but definitely smaller than my dog. And I'm wondering if this fits her. Her name is Daisy, she's a little girl. 
And gray would look good on her, I think, right? It's not too boyish. That would be super cute. So I'm gonna see if my mom wants this for her puppy or her dog. She's the sweetest little dog too. Okay, so another one. I'm not sure if she'll want this one, but this one was $5.98. This is more of like a windbreaker texture, but I got it in the red and the black. This one's a little bit different. It does have hooks on the back here as well, but this one here unzips down the back, so it makes it easy to kind of get it on your puppy, especially if they're ones that don't really like getting dressed but you would just put their little legs in here and then you would zip it over their back. But I thought that this one would be really nice and it actually, it is really nice for $6. But again, this is definitely not for a medium sized dog, at least my type of dog. Um, I would have probably needed like a large or an extra large, I'm not sure. I probably won't buy any dog clothes from there anymore, I'll just stick with Ross or Burlington because I can go in and actually physically see it but I mean if you guys have a puppy about this size you want a medium because these are pretty much they're pretty close to the same size this one's a little bit longer but I think the width and everything is the same but really nice so I'm gonna see if my mom wants these because they are in an area where it gets super cold. So she may want those. Something else I picked up now, these are for my son. This was $5.79 and it is a kit of Legos. But they're, you know, they're not real Legos, the brand, but they are building blocks. And these, I believe, make the characters from Minecraft. So they come in these little individual packs to make the different characters, I think. Let me make sure that I'm not lying to you guys. I don't know their names, but like all of these little characters here. So I thought he would have a lot of fun building these. $6 for Legos, even the off-brand for Minecraft. That is a great deal. Let's see here. I think I'm getting close, but the rest of, uh, no, I have some more stuff. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to share, if you guys have been sticking around and watching my hauls from Timu, you know, I keep buying these because I really like them. They are like one of my favorite things, <laughs> but these are stickers. This was $1.79. I actually got two packs of these. Okay. So I have hauled another set of these. These are on national parks, but they look different. So I went ahead and picked two up just to have for the kids if they want to use these for their national park unit studies. But they have stickers on all different national parks. Like this one is National Park Service. So this is a National Park Service sticker. And then we have, what's this? Sequoia National Park. Also, you could use these for junk journals. You can use them for like, if you want to go to these places, you can use it for a journal. And once you go, you can write about it. I mentioned that in another video, like that would be such a fun idea for a junk journal is to have different states, like for a trip that you want to do, you know, in your lifetime and then have like, say you have California and you put like Yosemite there or the different national park stickers you have in California throughout those notebooking pages. And then um, you just journal about it whenever you do get a chance to go to that place. Or like say, say I had a couple stickers for um, Yosemite and different you know national parks in California and I had some sort of pouch or envelope for that specific spread for California. I could stick them in there and if I ever did get to California and I wanted to go to those places and I saw those places, so say I go to California and I go to Yosemite, I've already been to Yosemite, but I'm just using it as, as an example. It's beautiful, if you haven't gone, go. You will not regret it. I mean, the majesty that you see there, the natural beauty is like beyond words. But anyways, so for instance, say I didn't go there so 
I would take the Yosemite sticker and I'd put it in some sort of pouch or envelope or something on that spread. And then if I ever did make it to California and go to Yosemite, I would take that sticker out and I'd be able to journal with it when I wrote in the journal wherever I have like my writing spaces. I think that's such an awesome idea because it will kind of set you up for different goals. Like if you do want to travel and you don't have to do it just in the United States, anywhere you want to travel, you can make like a, a junk journal for travels. Do something like that. I think that that would be really fun. And it'd be really cool to see like as it progresses throughout your lifetime, it's something you hold on to. I don't know, I think that would be really nice. Okay, so the next set of stickers, these were only 59 cents. These are really cute. I picked up three of these just so that the kids could use them too. So this is a different state. So we have Kansas, the sunflower state. We have New Mexico. Aren't those cute? We have Missouri. And Iowa. You know how some people like collect magnets from each state? Some people collect mugs from each state. I don't know, you could do something with the stickers that you collect from each state or have a huge map on the wall and whenever you make it to that specific state, you stick a sticker on it or something like that. I don't know, different ideas to throw out there. Okay, the next thing I picked up, this was 98 cents. It says vintage sticky notes, the distant view. It comes in this really cute box and does it push? Oh, it pulls. See how cute that is? So it comes with these little, oh, I didn't expect that. So it comes with, they're not sticky though. So I don't know why they're called sticky notes, but they're like these little cards here with the frames and you can punch them out. So these can actually be used as frames, but all these borders are different colors. Pretty cute. I like those, those are different. You could use them in anything, for anything. You could use them as frames for photos, anything like that. The next thing I picked up, this was a $1.48. What is this? So the box came pretty damaged. See, it's all squished, which is okay because it's, it's paper inside. But that's something I will mention that I've mentioned in other videos is there, packages usually come in bags like they're these orange plastic bags and they tend to get beat up and some of the things that they stick in the bags they get ruined or kind of beat up like they sent me i had ordered a couple canvas like pictures one two i got were of national parks and then one i got it's like a heart but it has writing that is um the verse that talks about love is patient love is kind and so it's like in the shape of a heart, but it's just on canvas. And for some reason, I thought that they were framed and they were not framed. So they came loose and because they weren't like laying flat in a box, they were in this bag with all of this stuff, they just got bent and creased. So I'm hoping that once I put them in a frame, it'll kind of like flatten. I don't even know if I can iron them. Let me know if you guys know if I could iron something like that. Oh my gosh, thinking about that, on Timu, I saw this thing that you use, you put it on top of whatever you're gonna iron if it's delicate, and then you iron on top of that. Maybe I need that. Maybe I'll just use a towel or something. I think you could use like a thinner towel. I don't know, I'm afraid of melting the images that are on it. I don't know, let me know what you guys think. Cause I, I honestly don't know. Oh, okay, I forgot I purchased these. So these are stickers with different maps. Look how cute these are. Do you guys see that? There are different types of maps, different colors, and they look super vintage, which, oh gosh, which I really, really love because I think there's something about journaling and making it look vintage. I think it looks so beautiful. They have ones that are a little bit bigger. I like these. So these are stickers. 
that's gonna be really fun. You can put these on tags or whatever. So moving away from that for a second, I picked up a ring, cause I love rings. And this one was $1.79. I thought it was really pretty, kinda gave me Valentine's Day feelings. So I'm gonna be so sad if these all start turning color. Um, but this, here, maybe I could stick it on, um, oh gosh, that one's really big. Maybe I'll put it on my thumb. Will it fit on my thumb? Yes. Can I turn my thumb that way? Can you guys see it? Okay, that's not a good idea. Hold on. <laughs> Ooh, you know what I could do? Let me stick it on my, no, that's not gonna work either. <laughs> I need one of those, like, um ring measures you know those metal ones or one of the little i need one of those you know fingers or like the oh, that's what i should get like a like a finger display you know that you could put rings on i think i have one i wonder if i could oh look this works okay <laughs> don't judge you guys i'm just trying to make it easy for you guys to see it uh oh okay Let's see how we could do that. Do you guys see it? Look how pretty. So it's like black and silver and it has the heart. I love it. I think it's so pretty. I'm going to wear it right now. $1.79. Ooh. Oh, wait. It's this one. I'm a mess. I, I'm trying. Okay. So I'm trying. Just don't judge me. Okay. Let me get this back in the bag. It's kind of hard because it doesn't stay like closed. Okay. The next thing I want to share, okay. So I wanted to try out concealer. And I don't know if I should have, but I got it. So it's concealer by Langmani, I think it's pronounced. I got two different colors because I'm like, mm, I don't know how these are gonna look. They were only a dollar oh seven. That sticker stuck on me. So let's see. Let's see. I don't even know how well this is gonna match. I don't even know if any of them are gonna match. That's why I hate buying stuff like this online. I don't know. Let me know if you guys have a hard time buying stuff like this online. Okay, I'm gonna open both. Okay, let's make sure. So it comes in this little container here. Do they look the same color? Oh no, one looks more like a tannish brown and one looks more like a pinkish oh i don't know that looks kind of dark for me i mean my lighting is kind of washing me out a little bit i think but i don't know this i'm gonna have to practice i can't ever tell unless ah, i can't ever tell unless it's actually on my face am i the only one that's like that i don't know and then we have this one that's actually a really pretty color, but I think this is too dark for me. That's a really pretty color though. Okay, so I picked those up, $1.07. So if they don't work, maybe someone in the family will be able to use them. Um, I, I have quite a mess on my table. Okay, the next thing I'm going to share, I think I'm almost done. These are really cool. So I'm trying to get my daughter and my nieces to junk journal with me. It's been a challenge because they really don't want to. But I thought that they would have fun doing like ones themed on like movies and books and I don't know, games and stuff that they're into. So I saw these little movie posters. They have all different ones. Like this one is Fight Club. We have E. T. Oh my gosh, who remembers E.T.? Have you guys watched that recent, recently? It's a little spooky. All the movies that I used to love when I was younger, I've tried to watch with my kids and I'm like, this is, <laughs> this is scary. Like Never Ending Story, um, Princess Bride, all of those crazy like labyrinth. Did you guys ever watch that? That was so weird. I tried to watch that and I turned it off because I'm like, this is weird. Mom, what were you and dad thinking? <laughs> Anyways, funny. Okay, so we have friends. We have all different ones. There's Romeo and Juliet in here. We have, I don't even know what that is. Wonder, Joker, The Devil Wears Prada. 
Um, Sherlock the Vampire Diaries. I'm talking like there are two stacks. So I went ahead and picked up two of these just in case, you know, the kids like the same show or movie and want to use the same ones. So keep your fingers crossed for me. I'm really hoping that they want to spend time with me and do that because that will be fun. Another one I picked up, this was 98 cents and this was on like famous figures. So we have just different like figures on here. Famous figures. So I thought that this one would be kind of cool. But it was really pretty. I really didn't know what I was getting into buying this one. It's hard to tell when you're looking online, you know, to know exactly what you're getting because you can only see a few items. And so I thought that that would be cool. The last thing I have here was a dollar fifty-two. It is earrings. Mm, I'm not sure if I'm too too happy with them. I'll probably only wear some of these. Like I will not wear these big pearls and things here and I probably won't use these fake diamonds, but these black ones here, the round bulb looking ones, what are these called? I don't know, but I would wear those. And I don't even know if I'll wear these because I don't know if I'm fond of those really big silver like prawn things around it, but I will definitely wear those. And I think that's worth $1.52 for all of those. But I picked up this here. So maybe the kids will want to wear, my daughter can't wear fake earrings, but maybe my nieces would want to wear some of the little pearls because the little ones are actually kind of cute. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you had fun. This was a fun haul. Um, yeah, so if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Give me a like and leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you guys. But that's it, you guys. Be safe, be blessed, and I will see you guys back very soon. All right, bye.